Good morning, Hoosiers. We had three straight days in the 90s, so how about three or more days in the 60s? Actually, today's high would only be 68, with the rest of the week maybe a little warmer. A cold front pushed into Indiana last night and is bringing much colder temperatures. Low to night 50, this is what fall will be like. Corn, December 342 and one half up two and three quarters. March 359 and one half up three and one quarter. Soybeans, November 950 and one quarter up 24 and three quarters. January 968 and three quarters up 26 and three quarters. Soy oil, October 38.45 up 47 cents. Meal, October 263.30 up $8.60. Wheat, December 8.45 and one half down 14 and one half. Live cattle, October 93.90 up 17 and one half cents. Lean hogs, October 57.47 and one half cents down 20 cents. Pork bellies, February 86.72 and one half, down 27 and one half cents. Energy crude oil, November 80.26, up one dollar 24 cents. Gas, November 202, up two cents. Heating oil, 218 and one half, up three cents. Ethanol, November 155 and one half, up a penny. The Vienna Boys Choir, the world's most famous boys choir, will present a program of international folk songs and sacred and classical masterpieces at 8 p.m. October 19th in Purdue University's Elliott Hall of Music. Purdue Convocations is presenting the concert as part of its classic series. The performance will include sacred works by Henry Purcell, Wolfgang Mozart, Felix Mendelssohn and Benjamin Britten, along with a broad, broad range of Austrian, German, and other international folk songs for which the Vienna Boys Choir is known. Emperor Maximilian I found the group in 1498, and since the Vienna Boys Choir has been carrying on a tradition of purity of tone, musical depth, and distinctive charm that is celebrated around the world, said Todd Wetzel, Purdue Convocations Director. Well, the Yankees are out. Now who are you going to root for? Have a good and safe day.